Hi and welcome back to our series of videos on introducing solid foods to your baby. In this video we are going to focus on introducing allergens. Allergens are foods that can cause an allergic reaction. Common allergens include cow's milk, eggs, wheat, nuts, soya and fish. You can introduce these foods alongside the introduction of other family foods at around six months of age. Aim to have introduced all common allergens you eat as a family by the time your baby is 12 months. Delaying introduction of these foods may increase your child's risk of developing an allergy to a food later on. As a precaution, introduce common allergen foods one at a time and in small amounts. Leave around three days in between introducing each new allergen food as sometimes reactions can be delayed. If there is no reaction, then continue to offer that food regularly in your baby's diet. For example, at least once a week. Never give whole nuts to children under five years of age as these are a choking risk. Instead, you can use a smooth nut butter or finely ground nuts. To give these to your baby, you can mix them in with some porridge, yogurt or mashed or pureed fruit or veg. When introducing egg, choose ones that have the British Lion stamp on them. You can offer these scrambled, as an omelette cut into fingers, or soft or hard boiled. You could also serve eggs mashed or as a puree, depending on what textures your baby is able to manage. To introduce wheat, you could start with a wheat based cereal, such as wheat bisques. Other wheat containing foods include well cooked pasta shapes, toast fingers, and couscous. Cow's milk can be offered as a yogurt or whole milk added to meals, such as porridge and mashed potato. To introduce fish, you could offer pureed, flaked, or mashed cooked fish, such as cod, haddock, salmon, or tuna. Your baby may be introduced to soya through pre-packaged foods containing soya, such as bread made with soya flour. Or you may choose to give them soya milk in food, soya yoghurt or tofu. Signs of an allergic reaction to a food can include Tummy troubles such as diarrhoea, constipation and vomiting. Skin reactions such as itchy skin or rash, eczema or hives or respiratory reactions such as wheezing, shortness of breath, swollen lips or throat or nasal congestion. If you think your child is having an allergic reaction, stop giving them the food and do not reintroduce until you speak to a health professional. Some of these symptoms can be common in well babies too so it's important to get professional advice. Severe reactions, also known as anaphylaxis, can include a swollen throat and difficulty breathing. If you think your child may be having a severe reaction, it's important you seek urgent medical attention. Some young children are at higher risk of food allergy. These include babies with eczema, in particularly severe eczema, and babies who already have a food allergy. If your baby meets this criteria, you may wish to ask your health visitor or GP for advice. We hope you found this video useful. Please see the following websites for further information. If you have any specific questions, please do ask a health professional, such as your health visitor or GP. In the next video, we will be talking about progressing with introducing solid foods and moving on to family meals. Thanks for watching.